Hello everybody, it's very nice to see you again. Yes, it's time for the answers for Daily Dictation 227. <laughs> Why am I using a British accent? And it's probably a terrible British accent. Well, I'm using the British accent because DD227 was British English and it was very difficult for many people. I thought it might be. Now, actually, the man, the narrator, his pronunciation is great. It's very good and it's very clear, but it's very fast. You guys need to practice speaking faster and faster and faster. Nobody actually speaks English like this. But if everyone spoke English like this, wouldn't English be easy? Huh? 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 Yes, it probably would. But it's not reality. Okay, if you didn't do the dictation, if you didn't see the original video, please click on these links. If you're on your iPhone, your cell phone, the links are in the description. So you can check there, too. Watch the original video. It's a beautiful bookstore. Yes, the story is about a bookstore. Let me uh, give you the answers if you've done it. Are you ready? All right. Bata Books was begun in 1991 by a couple, Stuart and Mary Manley. The building used to be an old Victorian railway station. Huge rows of stuck shelves now stand in the place where the trucks would have been. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Barter Books. That's the name of the bookstore. It's a used bookstore. And barter actually means to exchange, to, to, you, to talk. And you go to the market and say, how much is, how much is this magic marker? A thousand one or a, thou, a, a dollar. A dollar? Oh, come on. I'll give you 75 cents. No, a dollar. 80 cents. 95 cents. 85 cents. 90 cents. 90 cents? Okay. This is bartering. Okay, so when you try to negotiate the price, you try to bring down the price, you are bartering. So barter books, as soon as we hear the name, we can imagine it must be used books. Second hand, second hand books. And it is a second hand bookstore, a used books, a used book bookstore, okay? Used books. They sell used books. Barter Books was begun in 1991. 1991. Barter Books was begun. Oh, very British. This expression is very British. In America, we'd say Barter Books was opened in 1991. Or Barter Books started in 1991. It's the same thing. They opened the store in 1991, so 22 years ago. Wow, it's a long time for a bookstore. Butter Books was begun in 1991 by a couple. Who opened the store? A couple. Oh, that's nice. A husband and a wife, probably. Great. Stuart and Mary Manley. Stuart is a guy's name. Mary is a woman's name. Stuart and Mary Manley. They're a married couple. They might be... No, they're married, definitely. So these two people started the bookstore in 1991. Okay. The building. Ah, so Barter Books Bookstore is in a building. The building used to be... Okay, so if something used to be... That means a long time ago, it was something, but not now. A long time ago, it was something, but not now. The building used to be an old Victorian railway station. Oh, okay. So a railway station, we can understand that. This is a modern railway station. And this is a Victorian railway station from a long time ago. Mm. Well, Victorian refers to Queen Victoria. And she was a queen 
she was the queen of England for like 70 years, from the 1830s up until 1902, 1903, when she died. So she was the queen for a long time. And when she was queen, the British government made lots of money. Yeah, they had lot. They started to make lots of money, so they spent a lot of money on designs, on buildings, and construction. And a lot of the first railways and railway stations were built during her rule. And that architecture, those buildings, have a special style, and it's called Victorian style the Victorian era, Victorian age. It's actually a very common word for old English style buildings and, I don't know, teacups and spoons. What else is British? Yeah. Uh, so, the building used to be an old Victorian railway station. Mm. In America, we usually say railroad station, railroad station. It's the same thing, railway station, railroad station, doesn't matter. Now, so it used to be a railway station, but not now. Now it's a bookstore. So they had to change it. So how did they change it? The outside is the same, but inside they changed it. Huge rows, got to connect. Huge rows, huge, huge rows of stack shelves now stand in the place, what place? Where the tracks would have been. Okay, so we've got a new space, a little bit of space here. So, so this is the, the train station, and uh, this is the platform. People can stand here and wait for the train. And here's where the train comes, right? The train is right here, and there's tracks. There's tracks right there, right? Shoom, shoom. So, when it was a train station, the tracks were here, but now it's a bookstore, so they covered this, and right now they have rows, shock, of bookshelves. What kind of bookshelves? Stack bookshelves, and this is a picture of stack bookshelves. So, it used to be railroad tracks, railways, but now it's stacks and rows of bookshelves. Do you understand? Okay, it's not too bad. This, is, this was tough, not many people got this. Stack shelves. If you go to the library, it's just a stack of shelves, lots of shelves, lots of books. So, Victor, uh, huge rows, huge, the big, of stack shelves now stand in the place where the tracks, the railway tracks, the rails would have been. You got it? Yeah, if we read it, it's not that difficult. So, we should be able to hear it. But in order to hear it, we've got to master the pronunciation. Okay? Bar Books was begun in 1991 by a couple Stuart and Mary Manley. The building used to be, used to be, connect these sounds. Used to be, used to be an, used to be an, an engine, an, an old Victorian, not a lot of D, very short, old Victorian, Vic, Vic, Victorian railway station. RL, be careful. Huge rows, a little bit of a connection. Rows of stack shelves. Huge rows of stack shelves. There was a V, a little bit of V. Stack shelves. Now stand, connection, connection. Stand in the, stand in the. Here it actually sounds like na. Stand in the. The reason? The N can cancel the TH. Stand in the place where the tracks would have been. Would have been? There's no H. Would have been. Would have been. Would have been. Perfect would have been. Would have been. But relaxed would have been, would have been. And he does keep the V sound here, okay? Now, actually, we studied this in DDM. The whole thing, the three-minute video, it was great practice. We need to practice speaking a lot. I think, if you can, you really need to try and join DDM. Get the whole story 
not just a little bit. But anyway, let's practice two more times. We're, I'm going to use American pronunciation, slow and then quick. Are you ready? Barter Books was begun in 1991 by a couple, Stuart and Mary Manley. The building used to be an old Victorian railway station. Huge rows of stacked shelves now stand in the place where the tracks would have been. Barter Books was begun in 1991 by a couple, Stuart and Mary Manley. The building used to be an old Victorian railway station. Huge rows of stacked shelves now stand in the place where the tracks would have been. Ah, yes, this was very difficult for a lot of people. But, if you read it, it's okay, it's not that bad, right? I think so. So you need to practice the pronunciation, you need to practice speaking. Pronunciation and speaking is the key to listening. I'm serious. So you need to practice a lot. If you have time, if you have a little financial uh, freedom, I highly recommend you to join DDM. Okay, it's a great membership. We have communities and there's lots of talking and the, the articles are big. It's eight lessons a month. Video, over 20 hours of video to watch and review, MP3 files, text files, we have everything. If you can, join us on DDM. And uh, that's it for this lesson. Now it's time for, is it 228? My goodness, DD228. Good luck on that lesson.